ship my baggage at the post office. Let's go. I love my city uh, Saturday morning because there is a market in the street. Thirty years for a shipment to France and uh, forty-five more or less for a shipment to Canada. It's done. So let's take a coffee and then let's back to work. In Italy, every 10 meters in the street, there is a cafeteria. <laughs> Candles brushes. The flat brush is better to define the linear shapes. And then this, the tiny small brush. And then the bold brush. This is the bold brush, which I prefer. The bold brush, you have a lot of potential especially with the watercolor. And now erasing. Erasing is one of the most important parts of watercolor. First putting color on the paper and then erasing it. <laughs> Let's get back to our work. Have a look. Work in progress. This should represent the movement of the sticks. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, literally works without thinking no thinking well the result is not bad i i don't um i've not finished yet this part so i should add the drum here what i think is that, that i should create some um, darker part here here because uh, if you uh, undark 
the, the, the silhouette around the, the main actor, then the actor will be boom in your in your eyes. The focus point is here. I hope the result will be good, blah blah blah. But actually, the result is given by your skill and the chaotic behavior of the water. So the skills you cannot modify your skills in just one second. You need many months. So when you are not happy with a painting, my suggestion is just do another one. the secret to paint in watercolor? Well, I don't know, <laughs> but one way I do this is just play with, this, with, your, with your skills. Play with your skills. And in the meantime, try to do every time something different, every time a little bit harder. Why? Well, because in this way you push your limits and this way is supposed to be the only way to grow. Uh, painting human body is the most difficult thing. Every time you, you do a, a, a perfect circle, you must bro bro break the edges of this circle. Simulate the, 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 the shape of a human body, which is there are no edges in a human body. Every time I, I, I do something with a, with a brush, then I cut it. I absorb the, the water, I use the fingers, I scratch, I do something. I break the, the edges in some way, every time. Yeah, I know, I feel like in a rush, actually I am in a rush because I would like to, to finish with this painting. Uh, actually, I, I, I worked in, in small spots for days and days, 10 days, so it's still, it's still in work in progress, you know. Uh, I, I need some, I need one hour of full work. Let's dive in this work now. Okay, I've used a lot of sepia brown. That's why I refill. I will use uh, ultramarine blue, and I will use uh, some sienna, orange. So any kind of orange, it's okay. Uh, my preferred red is the uh, Venetian red, really dark, and then uh, uh, cadmium red. This is cadmium. This is cadmium. The the reddest red I've ever seen in watercolor is the schminky. Mm -hmm. 